Welcome to Egan Online Tutorials. Today we're going to cover the steps in your drug PSA project. Uh, first step is go to our school webpage, uh, open up the Health and PE site. If you click on Computer Projects on the left hand side, you'll get the information for the uh, PSA rubric and also the PSA concept map. Uh, you don't need to print those, but if you take a look at that, it will run you through step-by-step step, uh, what we're looking for. Uh, to get your information, follow the uh, PSA outline. Type in the antidrug.com. Next, it says click on Drug Information tab. And then click on Commonly Abused Drugs. And then you need to select two of these from the list. You click on club drugs, for example, it's going to give you a list of a uh, handful of, of these at the bottom you can use as well. So ecstasy, GHB, rohypnol, those fall into that date rape uh, category drugs. Uh, ketamine was a hallucinogen. Methamphetamine was a stimulant. Uh, LSD was a hallucinogen. Or you can pick any of the other ones from this list. If I picked uh, tobacco, for example, in your introduction then that you're going to put into VoiceThread, you have to have a definition of the drug. Okay, and you can use information from the top paragraph. We'll always give you parts of the definition. Make sure you put that into your own words and kind of summarize that. Uh, it should be no more than uh, about a paragraph. Then put in the drug category, and we went through those in the notes. There's a concept map on the school website. You can pick, is it a hallucinogen, a stimulant, is it a narcotic? Uh, so give us what drug category it is. And then if you scroll down, final thing for your intro, it says list three health hazards, and you can pick any of those from the list. So if I was doing health hazards for tobacco, I might talk about addiction, uh, how it accumulates in the body and long-term health hazards. If I was doing, let's say, LSD for an example, same thing. It has the uh, definition up at the top. Give me its category and give me the uh, health hazards, and there's three of those listed here. Once you have that written down in a full introduction, then you're ready to add that into your VoiceThread document. And that's step one.